Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the sick tutorial of creating music for video games. And today we are going to see how to loop a music instrument or sound. And if you are not following this series, it's okay, but I really recommend that you check the last tutorials I left in the description if you want to create a powerful audio manager for your game. Okay, so first thing we need is a static A enumerator called loop and it's going to yield return new weight for seconds. And it will receive the number of the track that contains the audio source and the clip length. The clip length is what we are going to pass to the weight for seconds. And now after waiting the time of the audio clip, we are going to call the play music function. And we need to copy these parameters from the play music functions to the loop enumerator like this. Now we only need to pass the play music, the audio clip, the list audio clip, min and the max. And as we have seen in the last tutorials, we can't call an I enumerator from outside of this script. So we need to create a public static void loop caller. And we say instance dot start curtain loop. And this is going to receive the same parameters but without the null like this. And we also pass these values to the group coroutine. Let's just add the loop caller in the play music function. And we pass the track, the clip length, the audio clip, the list audio clip, the min and the max. Now this was for looping a list of audio clips. Now we want to add this line again to when we want to play only an audio clip. And we say that the list is null and past min and max. That's the only difference. Now the tricky part is that sometimes the audio clips, as you can see, even when exported with the exact time, they may have some tiny small difference between them, like this, as you can see. And to solve this problem, we can do two things. You either add a tiny amount like 0.05 or you can use the mathf.round that it's going to round to the nearest integer. And we do this just to make sure that when it calls again the play function, the audio source is not playing. Because if the audio source is playing, he's not going to loop. And why we want to do this? Why we want to know if it's playing? Because this means if there is an enemy nearby, the music will change. But the other music already called the loop function. And this way, the first music that called the loop function will not loop because the audio source is still playing. This way we ensure that only loops one time and that it loops the current music, which is great. So now to change our music, we want to create another enumerator called change music. And we can start by saying that it's going to receive the track, the speed of the fade out, the audio clip and the rest you can copy from here. And the first thing we do is fade out the music. So we call the fade out color that we programmed a few tutorials earlier that I left in the description. And we pass the track and the speed. Now we say while we are fading out, we want to wait until it fades out. So we say while audio source from the track dot volume bigger or equal to the speed, we wait 0 0.01 seconds. And we also want to ensure that when it fades out, we stop the audio source. Otherwise, if we fade in, the last music will still be playing. And now we can copy this from the play music. And we want to erase this and only leave the if audio not null. Down here we want to only leave the list audio clip not null. And I erased this, but you can leave it. What is important is that we add the fade in color and it pass the track, the speed and copy this track volume list. 
like this and now down here again we don't need to erase this you just have to make sure to add the fade in and I erased the clip plant I'm just gonna copy it from here and make sure it's equal to the list of the clip with the index dot length and we can go up here and create a public void change music color since coroutines can't be called from outside of this script and we can copy this just to replace the clip length with the speed and also say that it equals minus 2 and that the list is equal to null as well as the audio clip this way these parameters become optional and let's use the instance of this script to start the coroutine and we can say change music and pass all those parameters now we only need to go to the fps sound script and we say that uh, sound manager dot change music color and we want to change the track 0 at a speed of 0 0.05 and not 0 0.5 like I did we want to change to the call music of the FL melodies which is in the element 0 down here we want to change the drums which are in the track number 1 and not 0 like I did and if I did is dot zero five and not dot five like I did which I'm going to change in a couple of seconds and now I say null to the audio clip but I'm gonna send the FL drums list and I want to play from the elements zero to two okay so down here now we change the second melody and in last I change the drums to only play the third drums from the FL drums list and also change to the third melody okay now I put everything on place like this change the track the fade time and we are good to go and we can press play and here's the fade in okay now we get closer and enter in the alert area and the music fades out that's cool and it fades in again to the second melody with, with aleatory drums that's great okay so i step into the battle and the music changes to this and it's working it's great it's pretty much done and if we stay a bit longer here in this area the music will loop again nicely and everything works well so that's it for this tutorial guys maybe there will be a next tutorial where we make a few adjustments and play with the audio mixer effect and do a few more things but anyway subscribe for more video related tutorials press the notification button to stay tuned and see you in the next tutorials